Hey everybody, welcome back to About the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, how about clicking that subscribe button? So as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about 20 shows you can currently binge watch on Netflix. This is my own personal list. Trust me, what I have on my list, more than likely, it's not going to be on your list, okay? I'm just going to say that, but you know what? Let's expand the horizons a little bit. Um, so since I am going to be talking about 20 shows, I'm going to try not to linger too much into each individual show. I know that's hard, especially for me, but I'm going to try really hard. So let's go ahead and get started with my number 20 pick, and that is going to be Good Old Cheers, where everybody knows your name. Um, now, this does come in with the whopping 11 seasons. I actually just watched it for the first time last year, I, and the series finale also was really really good i know sometimes um some series don't finish on a really good note but i even like the way that this finished it is a sitcom so it's only 30 minutes long if you guys have never seen cheers i full on recommend for you guys to watch it i feel like it still holds off to this day and i'm actually glad that i didn't watch when i was younger because i know that i more than likely wouldn't have got it or maybe not even have found it as funny just wouldn't have related to it i feel like if anything else from my list if you have not seen cheers that is a must to watch because it is a classic coming in at 19th place would be my cheat with only two seasons and that would be marvel's the punisher um i'm very sad that this didn't get a third season or even more but uh, we do follow frank castle struggling and try to give vengeance for the people who murdered you know his family of course you know i like the the movie the movie that came out a couple years ago well actually it's been more than a couple years it feels like a couple years john i'm not even gonna pronounce his last name i think he did a great job playing frank castle he was even great in the walking dead the walking dead's not on my list i'm gonna go ahead and pre-warn you now if you haven't seen it it's only two seasons long and it's a really really great movie i keep trying to say movie it's a show it's a show it's a really great show there's a lot of action a lot of killing if you're not into that then you may want to stay away from it but up next will be another marvel show and that would be agents of shield with six seasons we follow phil colson i believe it's one of the thor movies or maybe the avenger movie when he got killed by loki but then we got him back in Agents of Shield. Um, he this he got his spin-off. Went along to Gilmore Girls with seven seasons. I have loved Lorelai and Rory since the beginning. I watched it from day one all the way to the end. Uh, but not only do we have the seven um seasons but we also got uh, a little limited series which we got a reunion and it's called get more girls a life no a year in the life and of course that is four episodes and uh it's exactly i think what we wanted and needed i was very very content even though the way that the limited series ends literally makes you want more but the way it goes, the way it goes, we got to see where our lovely girls and everybody kind of ended up and what happened. And I, I was happy. I need that in my life and I'm happy that I got it. Moving right along, coming in 16th place would be of The Good Place. Believe you're in The Good Place and spoiler alert. Well, actually, you know what? Let me not spoiler. Maybe I should. No, I'm not. Because if you haven't seen them, there's, that's really unfair if you have not seen any of these movies. Whatever. If you haven't seen any of these shows and... You know, I give you a spoiler, so then what would be the point? Then four, I believe, just wrapped up that long ago, or maybe it's still going on, which is the final season. But the final season is still not on Netflix. Ted Danson also comes on in this show, which he is Sam Malone from Cheers. And you get to see him when he was back in his youthful days. But I'm not going to lie, Ted aged very well because he is a very handsome older man, like a very handsome uh, so moving right along um would be bloodline this is a netflix original i believe it does have three seasons i literally binge watch well for me binge watch is if i could finish it under a month which i did so in bloodline we do follow the rayburns they are a very twisted family full of secrets despair tragedies a lot of murders happen oh it's good stuff you guys it it's really good so maybe you shouldn't actually watch this show right now seeing that we're like in quarantine i don't know since there's a family twisted i don't want you guys to get any kind of ideas you know go ahead and move on to xoxo gossip girl uh that's coming in with the whopping six seasons uh, again same thing like gilmore girls i was with this series from day one i love me some gossip girl never ever would i have thought who gossip girl was 
Like that was a big shock for me. Like if you saw the show and you knew that was Gossip Girl, like how the heck did you figure that out? Let me know if I'm alone because I never saw it coming. Like seriously, like I try to think back. I should really watch the show and see what clues I can get from it. We do follow them from high school and we go into college and then of course you know marriages despair distress great great fashion it is a great great show you guys we run along jane the virgin which i'm currently watching the fifth and final season following jane who is a writer and her crazy ass life uh, from being um accidentally artificially inseminated while she went for a routine pap smear ended up pregnant it's very telenovela it's very like soap opera type deal and i'm a crier you guys i cry all the time <laughs> i don't think there's been a season where i haven't cried wait did i cry in the first season i don't know from maybe season three for sure i started crying and when i started seeing season five i cried in the very first episode like i was at work i was watching like during my lunch break and i'm just like don't stop don't watch this at work anymore <laughs> it's comedic it's dramatic it's <sighs> Let's go ahead and move on with number 12, and that's going to be Shit's Creek. This actually has six seasons, and the final season uh, just came out on, I think, this week or last week. Like, I literally saw, like, the last 10 minutes of it, and I was crying. I was like, oh, my God. So I can't wait to see the sixth season uh, when it comes on Netflix. But uh, currently, there are five. Basically, it's this rich family who ended up losing everything because, of course, the accountant steals everything. And they now live in a motel uh, because... Mm -hmm. The dad bought the town as a joke to the son, so they are owners of the, the little Shits town. That's actually called Shits Creek. That's the name of the town, Shits Creek. So it's it's I mean, that's how literally how filthy rich they were that the dad could buy a town for the son as a joke. So Eugene and Daniel Levy, father and son, actually star in this show. They co-wrote it. The daughter also comes on it as well. So it's a really really great cast. It's super fun. Coming in another place would be Stranger Things with the whopping three seasons. Looking forward to season four. I mean, I do love me a good little supernatural type of like fun supernatural. And I'm, yeah, no, I'm not about the scary life. Even though I do have one, two shows on my list that are kind of like creepy, but I could still I was able to. They're not that creepy. They're not that scary. Cause I'm still able to watch them. And I'm, yeah, no, I'm not about the scary life, but. Um, Stranger Things, if you haven't heard about it, have you been living under a rock? So before I give you my top 10, I'll go ahead and get on with some honorable mentions. Um, so, Shameless with nine seasons. I still have not seen the ninth um, season. I don't know if that was the ninth season is the final season or no, no. I think there's still a 10th season but without Fiona. Ooh, ooh, I guess that was my spoiler, right? I haven't seen it, but I know she leaves. Okay, but let me go. Orange is the New Black, seven seasons. That is a Netflix um, original. I know a lot of people were like here and made for it. I was here for it. I know there were a couple seasons where it was like, um, I did stick with it and I really enjoyed it. I liked the story where it ended up. Now, what I like to call Orange is the New Black's distant uh, relative, which is uh, Wentworth, that also has seven seasons. And this is based off of Australia, but quite honestly, I actually enjoy it better than uh, Orange is the New Black. I'm not gonna to you guys like if you're gonna end up in a jail well, for for women right if you're gonna end up in a jail i would suggest shooting for wentworth let me tell you compared to like lynchfield so in wentworth they all are i think there's probably like six people per cell okay so at the night they close the cell but these bitches each have their own little like section like their own room basically i literally have like their bed right they have a tv you guys like everybody has their own little tv to close your door so i mean you your unit we're gonna call it the unit overall which includes like a semi living room and they have like a kitchen they literally have a kitchen they have like dishes that they wash and stuff they have their dining room with the coffee table and they, they got it good i mean obviously you're still in prison here's where i'm gonna put one of my scary uh shows which would be american horror story with eight seasons on there uh we do go all the way to apocalypse so the uh last season 1984 was that what it was that was not up there yet 
Um, of course, you know, you get like each season is a different story. Season three, Coven, is uh, possibly my favorite season, to be honest with you. The one that I found to be the scariest uh, was Roanoke. And I know a lot of you are probably like, really? Because I know a lot of people were not fond of that. But honestly, like me and my sister, we would have to watch the show in the daytime because no i i just i, I couldn't um uh, but apocalypse definitely one of my least favorites i don't think i actually seen asylum that I, now that i thought about it i didn't jump onto the bandwagon until season three uh and last one on my honorable mention i really really hesitated between mentioning it or not because it left you on a huge huge cliffhanger so this is gonna be up to you guys whether you decide to watch the show or not i think you should because it is really good um but santa clarita diet we have three seasons it got canceled you guys netflix canceled this show why i do not know because this was one of their highest rating netflix original shows and they got canceled like it literally had higher ratings than 13 reasons why and i think even more than Stranger Things, and they canceled the, this show. Um, this does star Drew Barrymore and Timothy Oliphant. I don't know if I say his name right. Uh, they're a married couple. They're great. Drew ends up becoming a zombie. They're not like your routine zombies, you know, where they're like, Ur. no, no, like in the flesh, no. Like she literally has all her senses. She knows who she is. She has to eat humans. I say like, just, just, you know, but she only eats bad humans and at one point it's only Nazi Nazi uh, people that she's eating so it's like she really eating that bad but it's a really really funny show you guys just know that it literally ends with a huge cliffhanger and I'm just like I want to know what happens all right you guys we're halfway there coming into the place would be I zombie with five seasons yes another zombie show i think this is the last zombie show actually on my list no she doesn't work anymore she's a medical examiner when the dead bodies come <laughs> so she you guys she makes these brains look so delicious like seriously like you always see her like cooking them up or blending them into a smoothie like and they love hot sauce for some reason of course you know they're your little twist she's a zombie who of course wants to do the right thing and every time she or any of the zombies on this show eats a brain they get to uh get the memories of the person that they ate so that's how she's able to help solve crimes it's because she's able to see or get visions the, they don't actually see the whole time they just get visions of what happened to the victim so it's a fighting a uh, crime fighting type of show the really nice place would be a series of unfortunate events with three seasons i honestly was not a fan of the movie with jim carrey but i really 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 like the series now neil patrick harris is the bad guy as olaf and he does such a great job he sings the opening uh credits these children of course have a series of unfortunate events because count olaf of course wants to kill off the baudelaire children her character is the banker uh played by arthur poe who subsequently is kind of taking care of the kids but not really <laughs> I can tell you if Arthur was during these times, he would be, somebody would probably murder him because I don't know where he was just like, like <laughs> just coughing everywhere and it's just like so over dramatic. Eighth place would be The New Girl with Seven Seasons. Uh, this is one that I did not watch while it was coming out on TV. It's one that I started watching when it was on Netflix. They ended up making up this game, Ameri True American, right? I want to play that game. Like, let's go ahead and move on to number seven, and that is going to be Breaking Bad with Seven Seasons, which we also have a movie spinoff, El Camino, which of all you can find on Netflix. How many seasons did I say it had? I feel like I said seven. It has five seasons, you guys. And this is the one that I was talking about at the beginning of my intro that you guys are probably going to be upset of how high up I have it on my list because this may be your number one binge watching show uh, but it's not in my top five i mean top ten right and another um series that i did not see when it was coming on tv i saw it afterward but i did do a ranking on it so that you can find that somewhere in my um in my channel i think under my rankings playlist um i know a lot of people are, are unagreeable with how i have my rankings as well but again that's my own personal preference but i mean it is one of the best tv shows that there ever were 
I get that. I do. He was not to like. I mean, he's a freaking high school chemistry teacher who ended up making like the best purest meth that you can possibly find on the market. He ended up with one of his former high school students, you know, to kind of get into the underground world of drug dealing and who to really talk to because of course he's not gonna know. Oh, and then his brother-in-law is a DA agent. I tried to get my brother-in-law to watch this show. He just could not get into it. So don't add me about it being on my number seven pick. Y'all can come after him for not wanting to watch this show. That's right, Junior. I'm throwing you under the bus. Let's move on to number six. It's going to be The Office with nine seasons. Uh, the Office is still on Netflix, you guys. I know that they have been talking about removing it from Netflix, so it's still currently on there. I don't know how much longer it's going to be on there, but I was able to watch it this year, 2020, you guys. I was able to watch uh, The Office for the very first time. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did attempt to watch the show when it was on the air. I really couldn't get into it. I really didn't find it funny. I don't know, but you know, um, some years later, it's still holding off. A lot of people still talk about it. Of course, all the memes that are out. I find it extremely funny now, to be honest with you. I was like, oh wow, I really missed out. I could have been rewatching this show so many times. And uh, it was one that I semi binge, not really. It took me a little over a month to, to watch it. But I know once Corel left, a lot of people were having issues with the show. Yeah, I think the range dropped a lot. But I honestly didn't have a problem with it because I really didn't like his character too much. It was just too over the top, too cringy for me. I mean, I get that that's where his character was supposed to be. Like, don't come after me because of that. I mean, I get it, but just because I get it doesn't mean that I like it. Move on. All right, coming in in fifth place would be The Chilling Avengers of Sabrina with three seasons. This is kind of show honestly when I first heard about it I was like mm, I don't know about this because I love Sabrina the Teenage Witch now when the credits were rolling and I saw that it said based on the comic book I said oh okay so you're not like a darker version spin-off of my beloved Sabrina the Teenage Witch that I saw back like in the 90s you know it, it no you're something completely different which I, I get because like this is like a whole other type of darkness. I mean, here in the Chilling Adventures, Sabrina knew she was a witch from the get go. She, she was. It wasn't like sprung on her on her 16th birthday, like our beloved with Melissa Joan Hart. They are a satanic witch coven. So yeah, they do deal with a lot of black magic, and you know, of course, we do have the similarities of you know she is half mortal, half a uh, witch, and then later on find out that she is way more than just half witch stuff there's like a real even darker thing to her um but of course i'm not gonna spoil it for you guys let's go ahead and move on to number four which is possibly my favorite uh netflix original series and that'll be ozark with three seasons and i just fell in love with this season with the season well yes i did fall in love with season three literally my favorite season out of every out of all all three of them um i was gonna do a review on it but by this point it's like oh my god it's been out for like two three weeks already so it's kind of like i feel like it's too late to do a, a review on it we said this about marty who is played by jason bateman he is somebody who launders money this is probably somebody that um walter white should have hired to help him launder his money but he's like one of the best uh people to launder money and he gets mixed up with the wrong people well his partner got mixed up with a couple wrong people one wrong person and ever since then, which is what happened in season one, it has been constant things of trying to stay alive and trying to launder these, uh, trying to launder this money for these very, very bad people. Number three, you guys, we're almost there. Um, and that is going to be Charmed, uh, the original Charmed, like, back in the day. Not the Charmed that's coming out. I saw the new Charmed, like, two episodes. I did not like that. Uh, but Charmed eight seasons um, i believe you can find both of them on netflix but i'm talking about the og charmed eight seasons this and friends um friends is no longer on netflix otherwise it would be on my list are the two shows are the only two shows actually that i can think of really yeah 
that I've rewatched the whole series multiple times. Coming in in second place will be Gotham with five seasons. Now this is kind of like an origin story of Batman and I just love this show so much you guys. This is one that I could see possibly get it into the levels of Friends and uh, Charm. The whole cast you guys is absolutely great. Um, it does have more of that like darker grayish tones but um, it does also have that very like old school comic feel to it where they're like overacting and um, Cameron, whatever his last name is, he's who plays the Joker. He does also come on Shameless. Oh, also such a great, great Joker. Like, I really wish they would have got him to play the Joker in one of like, like maybe like in Suicide Squad instead of having Jared Leto, should have been him. He may have been a little bit too young, but he plays such a psychotic Joker. I really like it, and I would love to see him in one of the movies playing him. I think he's a fantastic Joker, to be honest with you. I mean, at number one, we are there, you guys. We have made it 20 shows. First place would be the originals with five seasons. Of course, there had to be a vampire show on my list you guys and the girl and this was a spin-off off of vampire diaries in case some of you are like well why is it vampire diaries on your show Stephanie well dear viewer because I did not watch vampire diaries I saw like the very first season when it was coming on but I really wasn't into it but maybe I, I'll, I'll try to give it a shot at some point I don't, I don't know I'm trying to catch like I said catch up to other things uh, but I do watch legacies as well which is a spin-off off of the originals like this is okay it's it has two two seasons um i really don't recommend that too too much to be honest with you follow elijah rebecca and crazy crazy hybrid klaus which of course is my favorite because he's so freaking psychotic um and of course their protege marcel uh, we are in lovely new orleans a beautiful beautiful town actually when i went to new orleans last year uh i told my friend can we please stop at the cemetery literally the only reason why i wanted to stop at the cemetery was because of the originals supernatural type of show we get witches we get werewolves we get vampires what more does a girl want you guys i mean i am somebody who loves a uh, freaking the twilight series i mean i don't care a lot of you are probably like this probably like the worst movies franchise there is i don't care i'm a girl and i love that kind of shit so there are a couple books that i love that are vampire based too i don't know what it is about us girls and vampires and werewolves and which is well, which is we can pass by, but like vampires and werewolves, I don't know. There's something very, very hot about it. But um, the originals, again, great series, so much going on, and it even had a fantastic series finale. I loved it. I cried. <laughs> there is one more honorable mention that I'm going to say that I did have on my list, and I can put it in on, but could put it taken off. But I, I had to because only one season, and I freaking love this show and it is a netflix original of the umbrella academy which is what this row of pops are this um i can't wait for season two it's such a great um fun also dealing with like superpowers uh, we got crazy ass Vanya over here number so five. as quarantine continues hopefully something on my list sparked your attention or maybe even has you rewatch something that you maybe forgot about or you know maybe these are just 20 shows that you can be like you know what thank you for recommending but I'd rather not you know there's nothing wrong with it you know there's of course uh, but before you guys click out of this video don't forget to get a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post something new and so everything clears out I'll be seeing you guys at concessions bye